everyone, and welcome back to another Keto Mukbang OMAD style. I have come up with an awesome comfort food right here. This is Keto Style Salisbury Steak, Mashed Potatoes, and Green Beans, even with gravy, all done Keto Style. This amount of food that I made is two servings, and I will go over and tell you how I made it and how to make it even lower fat. Since I only do one meal a day, I can have a little bit higher fat. I am still trying to lose a little bit more weight, so I teach to keep the body fat low and use your body fat as your energy. But what you could do here is I have used ground beef. I've used an 85% lean. There are even more lean, but I've used that, but I've rinsed off all the grease after it was cooked. And then I have made a box of cauliflower mash. Okay, that is, you can buy it in your local grocery store or you can make it homemade with a blender. It's just cauliflower that's been mashed down. And then I've just done some green beans on the side just from a can. Now, how I made the gravy to be keto as well. I have taken a cup of water, two bouillon cubes or would be two teaspoons of the powder bouillon beef flavor. And then I uh, heated that to a boil and added in mushrooms and onions, but I've measured everything out. The onion was like, remember this is two servings, I think it was like four tablespoons, and the mushrooms were a half a can, okay? And that is for the whole recipe for two people. And I put that in while it was boiling, and then after it started to boil, I added in a fourth a cup, which is four tablespoons of heavy cream. So yes, this is a little bit more heavier. Now here's how you would make it lower. All right, you would use ground turkey or even a leaner hamburger, but ground turkey would be even more lean for you. And then you would cook that, and then of course you'd still do the cauliflower mash and the green beans. But for the gravy, instead of adding the heavy cream, you would just do the bouillon, but you would add in um, an extra bouillon cube. And of course it's gonna be, you're gonna use uh, the one cup when you do it this way, but you would use like three fourths of a cup and three bouillon cubes and no heavy cream. It's going to be a little bit more runnier, but it will thicken after you've made it and your meat is cooked and drained and all that. You're going to put the um, gravy mixture over the top and then let it cook more, let it boil. It's going to boil down and thicken. And then if it's too thin at the end, which mine was a little bit thicker because of the heavy cream, I did add in another half a cup of water. But when you're making it with that, it should be okay, but it will start to thicken in your pan. It will be a little bit more, like I'm saying, watery, but that's okay because that's how you're gonna lower the fat. It's still gonna taste delicious and be a gravy. I did the heavy cream since I do one meal. If you wanna do exactly what I do, you can. There is around 700 calories here. The whole thing was around 1,400 calories. And the whole thing was around 15 to 18 carbs. So split down here for me, I would have seven to around eight carbs total, which is awesome. Again, for one meal, eight carbs, around 700 calories here. And of course, a little higher fat, but not too bad since I do OMAD. And I just taught you how to make it even lower fat, especially if you're doing more than one meal a day and you're trying to keep that fat low. But I'm super excited about this. My nephew the other day came in, he had never heard of this, and he had had a TV dinner and he said, what's a Salisbury steak? He wanted to eat something. And I said, that's just hamburger with gravy and mashed potatoes. He's like, mm, I'm gonna have it. I sat here and said, oh my goodness, because Salisbury steak was always my uh, recipe I made that I was known for, it was my Salisbury steak. I haven't had it in four years because I, you know, that's keto, or, I mean, it's not keto, it's got the gravy and everything in the mashed potatoes, you can't have it. But after he walked out, and I'm always racking my brain, I thought, oh my gosh, I can totally turn Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes and green beans into keto style, and I've done it right here, and I guarantee this is going to be delicious. The only difference is, is it's cauliflowered mash instead of potatoes, but they taste so good and so close to potatoes. Yes, there is a slight difference in taste, but they are delicious. And with that gravy on it, and the mushrooms and onions, you don't have to add the mushroom and onion if you don't like it. You know, you just put that aside. But of course, for flavor, it's very good. So you can just do that and then move it to the side after just to flavor your gravy. So yummy. But anyways, I just can't believe I thought of a way to turn this into keto. I love comfort foods. This time of the year when it's chilly out, love comfort foods. And tell me right here, and I've said this in many videos, does this look like a diet to you? Uh-uh. And of course, it, it's not a diet. It's a way of life. But does this look like something you wouldn't eat? Let me get closer to the camera. I will have a picture at the end too, but come on. Does that look like something you wouldn't eat? Absolutely delicious. All these recipes I've come up with, I'm gonna write a cookbook. I just cannot believe the recipes I've come up. Of course, when I do mine, they are true keto, because I watch, I did put a little bit of, uh, uh, I only had sea salt, I didn't have any pink salt today. So I did a little sea salt and a little bit of pepper into the gravy, just to, oh, not, not the salt, I'm sorry. Little salt, 
and pepper on the meat while I was cooking it. Sorry about that. But in the gravy, I only added pepper because it's already going to be really salty with the, um, you know, being the beef bouillon cubes or the powder. It's already more saltier. So, of course, I only added the pepper in there just a tiny little bit just to give it a little bit of flavor. But on my meat, just to give it a little bit of flavor, just a tiny little bit of sea salt and um, pepper since I knew it was already going to be kind of salty with the gravy and stuff. You don't even have to add that. I'm doing it because I only do one meal a day, so it keeps my electrolytes up and everything. But yeah, I'm excited about this. When he did that, it was like a week ago and I was so excited to make this. I just had other plans and other things going on, so I couldn't do it, but I couldn't wait to make a mukbang on this for you guys. So I can't wait to eat this. I'm drinking just water. I've already been sipping on this. I'm just having water tonight. I was going to do it with a little bit of soda, but I, I thought, you know what? I need more water right now, so just doing it with water. But, oh, my gosh, you guys, let's dig in. I'm so excited. I do like to keep my window around, uh, like I tell you guys all the time, around 15 minutes. So um, 15 to 20 minutes in my old mad window, and then I don't eat for 24 hours. Look at this, you guys. Meat, uh, beef, gravy, and potatoes, but it's cauliflower. Oh my God, this is seriously so delicious, you guys. It doesn't taste any different to me. It tastes just like real Salisbury steak and potatoes. Oh my gosh. You could totally trick your kids and get them to eat this. If they like mashed potatoes and Salisbury stuff like this, they will totally eat this. Mm, oh my gosh, that is so delicious. Oh, wow. Yum, everybody. Oh, it's delicious. I have missed Salisbury steak so bad, and I figured out how to do it. I figured it out. Oh, wow. My husband is going to freak over this. Yes, my brother Rob is going to freak. His children are going to freak over this. Oh, my gosh, it's so delicious. All these meals I've been doing, like the... Uh, stovetop casseroles I've been doing. I'm having them turn into a casserole type burger from different burger places and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just coming up with amazing meals. I mean, my mukbangs, if you go back and watch them, I have always come up with ideas. I mean, did the KFC, recreated the KFC bowl. There's so many ways you get to eat so good, so good, yet you're going to lose weight eating this way. Amazing. And like I said, you can make it exactly the way I did if you're doing one meal a day because then you're only getting that much fat in there and it's fine. If you're doing a couple meals, then I would just say maybe use half the cream that I use. So I did four tablespoons. You do two, so it'll still thicken it, but add a little less water then and one more of the cube or one more teaspoon of the bouillon to it, the beef bouillon. You could do this chicken style, but it's beef, so everybody's going to want beef. I mean, you could even, uh, you know... Do it, like I said, with the water, just the plain water, and it's going to, you know when things boil, they do thicken, so when you pour it over the meat and everything, it's going to thicken, and even if it is a little bit more watery, it's still going to be delicious. I do one meal. I can have the little extra fat for tonight. I don't do it every day like that, but this little extra isn't going to hurt me. And this one meal. If I wasn't trying to lose weight, I could have had even more. I could have added even more fat into this. I could have ate a fattier meat. I could have done the 75% lean. You know, didn't even have to drain the grease or anything when I was in maintenance, you know, when I go into maintenance mode. But, oh my gosh. Oh, this is delicious, you guys. Wow. Mmm, please try this out, you guys. Like I said, if you're not a mushroom and onion person, or you like one or the other, just add it in for flavor and then put it aside. If you absolutely do not like it at all, then just don't add it. But, oh my gosh, the gravy in itself is going to be delicious. You don't even need the mushroom and onion. But I always, when I made true... Uh, Salisbury steak and potatoes. I always added in the mushrooms and onions. And I'm not even a big mushroom person, but this is a canned mushrooms, so I like them. Canned mushrooms is fine for me, especially if it's in a gravy. You don't really taste it. It's just like when it's on pizza. You don't really taste it. And you could do fresh uh, mushrooms. I just did the can. I always like to try to make it quicker and easier for you guys. So basically, you're heating up your hamburger making your gravy quick, pouring it over the top, and just let it sit for about 10 minutes or so to saute in the, the gravy, and you're going to see it's going to start to thicken a little bit. And especially more when you have the heavy cream, and then you have to add a little bit more water to it at the end once it's picked up all the flavors. But, I mean, you're just heating this in the microwave. It's bird's eye um, cauliflower mash. They also make cauliflower and rice, or riced cauliflower, the same one. But this one is um, 
you know, just one you pop in the microwave and then the green beans were in a can. You also could do fresh green beans. I just did the camp tonight. It's going to be a little higher sodium. Yes, because I did the camp, but that's okay again because I'm doing keto. But so easy. Both of those are just down in the microwave. I just cooked up my hamburger and made my gravy. It was quick, fast, easy. I literally was done with dinner, with everything, doing the gravy and everything and letting it even saute over it in like 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. I know that my friends on here, people following me doing keto, I know how many of you are going to like this, especially my good friend Monica, her husband, and Veronica is going to love this. This is as close to home um, cooking you can, I mean, it is home cooking. I mean, the closest you can get to a comfort food. Oh my God. Yum. I never know the difference with cauliflower. Yes, there is a different taste. It doesn't taste like mashed potatoes. But because the texture of it is so close to mashed potatoes, when you have the gravy on it and everything, it's so good. I like them plain. I've never had a problem with the cauliflower mash. I love it. But when you're adding it like this with the gravy, mushrooms, onions, eating it with your meat, it, it's the illusion you're eating potatoes. And I guarantee your kids will love this. If they are a child that's not picky, they will love this. If they are picky, then just do the gravy without the onions and mushrooms. And... Pour the, make sure you pour the gravy. Just set the, the mashed potatoes down, the cauliflower and mash. Set the hamburger on top after it's cooking all that, and then just pour the juice and that all over that, and believe me, they're going to be in heaven. Mm. And then I know that there are more kids out there, I mean, kids out there that don't like stuff like this at all. And I'm sure you can find other ways to feed them, you know, other keto stuff. But, oh, my gosh, this is so delicious, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. So I had a lot of fun doing my live. This is the same day that I did my live. I had a lot of fun. A lot of new people in there. Thank you guys for coming in. I did get your emails. And I will get, you know, well, by the time you get this video, I already would have gotten back to you. But thank you guys for all, you know, your support, but also choosing me to help you. Um, I've helped many and you are going to get healthy. Don't worry. You are going to lose it and you are going to get healthy doing it the way I'm teaching you. I know many teach it the other way, but what they're learning is how it is for somebody healthy doesn't have any fat to lose that's how they're going to lose and so i mean that's how they're going to be okay to eat the fat but somebody trying to lose it just makes sense to use your body fat so but i had so much fun doing that live today thank you guys for you know choosing me like i said and i hope all of you are doing well i mean all the people i have helped in the past and even recent are all doing really good they all are choosing to do the low fat and use their body fat for it because they're succeeding now. They're losing like crazy. They're going to get it off fast and they're going to get into that maintenance mode and start eating. I mean, even something like this, oh man, like I'm doing, even the way I talked about lowering the fat, it's still going to be absolutely delicious. Regardless. The only difference is you just want to have the heavy cream to make the gravy and you're going to use a leaner meat or you're going to use ground turkey. Regardless, it's going to be delicious. Oh my gosh, this is so good. But yeah, it's, I'm so glad that you guys are listening to what I'm saying and like I said, I would never say anything if I didn't know that this was all based on true facts and all of that. So, mm. yum. Now, I do teach too that you want to keep your protein about half your body weight, a little bit more if you're working out. But make sure you don't go too high because protein. Too high will convert to carbs as well and spike your insulin levels. And they've, they've already proven that in videos. Um, I watch a video, Snake Diet, and he did it with meat. And as soon as he was done, he tested before and tested after. He does his ketone through blood, and he tested both. And so you instantly get that, that number. And his number dramatically changed because he had eaten way too much protein that day. So protein will spike your insulin levels as well, even though you're not eating carbs. It will. So you've got to be really careful with the amount of protein like don't do high 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 amounts half your body weight a little bit more if you're working out that is totally fine and keep an eye on that because yeah protein is very important but you don't need gobs and gobs of it especially if you don't work out i always tell people i always try half your body weight so if you go over a little bit one day it's not gonna hurt you oh my gosh last bite you guys this was the most incredible oh mad i've done in a long time, last bite. Mm. All the mukbangs I do are amazing. But this one here, 
Like I said, I was known for my Salisbury steak and I still did it, you guys. Keto style. Yum. So delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Wow. I feel good. I'm satisfied. Everything's great. Like, it was just... <laughs> got a little off track there. I said everything's great because my nephew just said, how is everyone? And I just said everyone's great. Just heard him in the background. He just came in. But anyways... This was an amazing mukbang, absolutely amazing. You can keep it just like that and do an OMAD. That will be totally fine. I keep my calories lower. You can even eat more. You can even increase more and eat more meat and more of the cauliflower and mash because I'm going lower. I'm five to seven. You could eat even more. Women, if you're down to the last little bit of weight, you can eat it just like that and you're still gonna lose. Don't worry about that. But if you really, really have a lot of weight in you, you're trying to get it off, lower that down and do it the way I told you guys. It was a slideshow after. I'll tell you exactly how it's made down in my box. I will tell you exactly, too, how it was made. And I will tell you the version how to do it low-fat as well, just in case you missed some in this video. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my next video. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification so you don't miss any videos. Remember my lives on Thursdays. It's always different every week. It's either a 1 to 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the next one, the following week, will be 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Don't forget that. See so you guys can get in, excuse me, can get in and watch my lives and ask me lots of questions. So everyone take care and always remember to say it with me, you guys. Keep it keto.